Hi guys, Constantin here from CGC. So as you all know, GeForce 5090 has been officially launched and it will be released on January 30, which is amazing. We've been waiting for this for years. Now, if you're a bit of a enthusiast and you're looking to get a water-cooled 5090 um, at this moment in time or as close as possible to the launch date, right now the only options that we have are quite limited. So after doing a bit of investigation and looking at a lot of YouTube videos out there and um, you know Googling and stuff like that, all I could find is that there is only going to be at this moment in time two companies that have uh, that will be producing GPUs with water blocks pre-applied on them and that's going to be Gigabyte with their Waterfalls model and another company which I think is called, it's called, it's called Inno 3D uh, their Ichi model, uh, Ichil model which um, was released previously for the 4090 series so they're showing off pictures with it for the 5090 as well but there's no um, detailed information on their website i did go and look so on inno 3d website you've got 5090 models uh, quite a few of them but there's no water cooled one the only company that does have specs and pictures for 5090 with the water block at the moment is gigabyte gigabyte water force and i'm going to put the link and i'm going to show you a quick quick photo as well um, apart from that the other option that you do have and um, it's preferable is buying a water block. The first company that has publicly uh, released a statement saying that they will have uh, water blocks for 5090 and 5080 on release date or, or close to release date, so they say, is uh, AlphaCool. AlphaCool is a German company, specializes in uh, water cooling equipment, GPU blocks, CPU blocks, fittings, the whole works. They're, they're quite big, they're quite good, their, their blocks are quite good. I did own a few myself and uh, there's nothing I can complain about it. They always appear in their Bowers videos, obviously, because he's German. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll put the link in the bio and I'll put the, I'll, I'll show you quite, quite quite quickly i can show you the article where it says that they're going to release water blocks the in terms of the design it's going to be uh, similar to the current water blocks for 4090 which doesn't bother me because it looks pretty good and um they're saying that they will release water blocks for a variety of models so not only the founders edition but a variety of models from asus msi basically the companies that won't have a water block gpus on release date which is really really good um so personally i'm gonna wait to see what they release close to closer to january 30 and make a decision there and then the other options that you would have is just buy a aio model so all the three big players currently in the gpu industry which is asus msi and gigabyte they all have models of uh water cooled gpus with aios um, if you can fit one in it's probably a better solution with better cooling than a standard um, air cooled gpu they will be a bit more expensive and they will require a bit more room but um yeah, if you can fit one, you probably get a good deal on that. But personally, um, I don't like them very, very much because A, um, if something goes wrong with the pump or anything like that, you cannot replace it. You have to replace the whole GPU or there could be leaks and stuff like that. Um, where if it breaks down, that's it. Your whole GPU is out of action as compared to if you have a water loop at the moment. Um, and if the water loops breaks down, uh, I can at least troubleshoot it myself. I can see where the leak is and replace a, a fitting or replace a tube, which doesn't really happen. Or, you know, if the pump breaks down, I can replace the whole pump. Plus, in terms of aesthetics, you know, the water loop, I can connect my GPU block with a CPU block and the radiators. And I can make a nice little loop with a pump. I could pick whatever blocks I want. I could... Uh, get whatever radiators I want which means I can overclock my GPU as far as I can um, anyways um, but yeah obviously uh, it is um, a, you do have to um, it, it does require a bit more um, experience to do a water loop and you do have to be very careful when doing it because these electronics they're just boards if, if you're not careful you can break them um, right so basically these are the options that you have if you're bent on getting a water blocked gpu on release date so you either go for these two models from ino 3d e chill or from gigabyte probably gigabyte would be the most accessible one 
or wait for the alpha, alpha cool blocks to come out. I haven't heard anything about um, from EK about water blocks for 1590. They've been really, really silent. That's probably because they're probably struggling financially and they, they're not able to keep up. They've lost a lot of staff from what I've heard. They've lost a lot of contractors. They don't have uh, parts. Um, and I've, I've checked the website for water cooling bits and bobs that I normally get from EK, which are basically fittings, tubing and stuff like that. And a lot of the basic components, they're not even available. So I doubt that EK is going to release a water blocks for 1590 um, close to release date, probably a couple of months later. Yes, but you know, um, that will probably be too late. I think Alpha Cool is really, really um, on the ball here and they will be probably the first ones that will have availability. I've also spoken with a manager from uh, Optimus. If you don't know Optimus, it's a American company. They make really, really good um, uh, CPU blocks and GPU blocks. They have really good CNC technology and stuff like that. They've been featured in Jay's Two Cents videos and even their Bauer features them. And he said at some point that the latest LGA 1700 cooler that they've made, which is which you can fit it on the Core 9 Ultra 285 as well. Um, it's one of the best coolers out there, and it is because I've got it as well. I'll probably, well, if I get a chance, I'll do like a quick um, video at some point about it. But anyways, there will be probably other companies um, coming up with water blocks, but none of them have made any official declarations apart from Alpha Cool. In terms of other options that you might have, you may just say, uh, if you can afford to like modify your, your uh, loop to, you know, just cool your CPU at the moment and just put an air-cooled GPU, buy an air-cooled GPU 5090 whenever it comes out and just run it until the water block comes out. That's another option, but you know, that is a risk. They may or not, may or may not release. Um, gpu blocks for your model so if you want to do this i would say go for one of those models that are really popular and everybody goes for so probably the high-end air-cooled gpus from msi uh, gigabyte personally i always go for the asus rog strix which this year is called rg strix astral i'm pretty sure that someone will release a water block for that so if you want to go for the gpu now put a water block later go for a model that's very well known and popular because that's what the companies will do. They're going to release water blocks for the more popular models. At least this is what EK used to do in the past. Um, and that's it. Yeah, basically, if you've got any more information about water blocks for the 5090 series, please comment below. Uh, anything you'd like me to talk about or like me to look into, let me know and I can do that for you. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.